I was definitely expecting answers from last episode for sure, but with this title, the Ishtar Familia, the City of Lust, that's something that I've never even heard of, so I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, Season 2, Episode 6. Last episode, we had the getting used to our new house, getting used to our new debt balance, and then uh, just some more hilariosities between uh, our characters and our, our familia. We had a nice little emotional bath scene, which I thought was really well done, also with a nice little bath part in there. I like the bath part. But uh, we ended off with Chigusa telling Mikoto some bad news, which I don't know what that pertains to. And that's where it ended off. So without any further ado, remember guys, if y'all want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. It's always an option for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe, join that Dapper Squad, make sure to click that bell so you guys know always when I immediately post, and then follow me on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, at Dapper Darius. Let's, go, let's hop into this. Uh, Don Machi, Season 2, Episode 6, The Ishtar Familia, uh, The City of Lust. If anyone's gonna make me lustful, it might be her. She's like a... See, I'm curious if it's more like a brothel type scenario, or if it's more like a femme fatale type scenario, you know? Because if it's a brothel, uh, they could just easily be about their money. We know their family's about their money, but if they're in it with ill intent or malicious intent, that's a whole different story. <laughs> I'm like Bell. City of Night, also known as the Pleasure Quarter. Yeah, Bell's too innocent to be in this place. <laughs> Another time in which I'm jealous of Bell. Is a Bell is Bell about to be serviced? Ah, our homeland. Yeah, she's sucking some schnob schnob. Okay. Makes sense why you take a deep investment in this. Really? I was about to say, you guys are just now realizing Bell's not with you. Yeah, there's just an army of beautiful women out there. That would be me. That would be so me. Is that the is that the Chienthrope from Yeah it is from last at the end of last episode. I think the friend they're talking about, they're looking for. Oh whoa, where'd she go? Oh of course Hermes is here. Mm-hmm. I have Hermes. I got you. I got you, my man. An aphrodisiac. Hello, Aisha. No. Aisha,誰それ。今夜の客か。今ここで見つけたんだ。うぶな顔してるだろ。え、可愛い。さ、一緒に来な。ちょっと。ホームまでお一人様ご案内。I'm guessing these are members of the Ishtar Familia. Especially because they're named characters and their designs are different. They're very similar to each other, but different from a lot of the other. Ishtar-sama? <laughs> 
They have a big ass place. Smart girl. Ain't a smart. It means they're all going to have very aggressive, violent sex with you. Also got the name Lena from that. Jeez. そう<笑><笑> Amazon style. This. Now that Phryne's here, this would be the most terrifying thing in the world. Before, I was like. Maybe. Belle is escaping a house full of beautiful Amazonian women who all want to drain him of all of his fluids, we'll say. I'm never an advocate of running yourself or hiding into a corner. I'm always a fan of keep running, don't barricade for a last stand. I don't like it. Oh. I think you've been waiting on someone else, madam. This is the Reynard that we're looking for. Haruhime. Do they really have to do this to me twice in one episode? もしもし。申し訳ありません。お客様だと勘違いしてしまった上、あのような集会まで。いえ、そんな勝手に来た僕が悪いんですから、たまはなぜこの遊国に。あ、えっと、それは。So it is a brothel. I'm just gonna assume the majority of the pleasure quarter themselves is like a brothel, but the Ishtar Familia in specific is a bunch of Amazonian women and where the Amazons, like from where they come from, they just kidnap men. No money, no money with that. They just take them, have their way with them, and then send them on their merry way. But the vast majority... Uh, that's what I would assume. Maybe a couple of strip clubs here and there. Maybe a Korean barbecue joint. Maybe a Taco Bell. But majority brothels is what I'm assuming. This episode is ridiculous. It'll be difficult for... <laughs> oh my god. When dawn comes, I have to stay with you all night. Okay. Being in her line of work, I assume she just likes normal company. I wonder why that was. That's not good. Let's see. Wow. She seems like a very nice, considerate person so far, just stuck in this unfortunate situation. No wonder why Hermes is here. Talking about Kraya? Freya? I said Kraya. Is she crazy? Her Hermes and fucking Ishtar just got fucking 
Yeah. Yeah, a great hero right in front of you. If you only didn't have 17 other women who wanted the same thing as you do. It, that, all that doesn't matter to the hero, though. You gotta think, come on. Why wouldn't they? That's sad. Yeah, Bell knows that sucks. Bell knows that this is a horrible situation. Can't leave her like that. Come on, Bell. He hates that he has to. Aisha was right there the whole time. Oh my god. If she can make Hermes cry. Oh, she must be a killer in the bed. So he did spill it on Freya, which means Hermes knows so much more than he let even us know. Oh my god, we have Ishtar in the mix now? Son of a biscuit-eating bulldog. I don't know. I thought Freya was the hottest woman in the show for a long time. It might have to be Ishtar. She, like... I'm not gonna dig too deep into it, but we'll just say it's a good thing I did not stand up for the majority of this episode. And we'll leave that at that. Other than that, this episode was very good. I'm so curious what's going to happen with Haruhime and now with the Ishtar family, because not only are they very influential and very unique is the term we'll use, but they are definitely very strong. You can tell by not only Ishtar's confidence, or her ability to talk, and she's just like, she's different, bro. She is different. And she's going after Belle, not even because she wants Belle, but just to piss off Freya, which is nice that Freya has some competition. Freya has been free roaming, doing whatever. But you got to think, like, there's so much inter-god beef and drama that goes on behind the scenes. You got to think, let's say one day one of them just said, fuck it. Like, let's say Freya legitimately said, fuck it, and sent Otaro out fighting everyone. Otaro's a goddamn level seven. What are we gonna do? Like, we just were. Bell is getting this praise for hitting level three this quick. Like, we're level three. Like, I'm just saying, like, like uh, this show could be, could go crazy. But, like, I, I really do enjoy it. I really am. The characters, this episode was a whole different level of enjoyment for me. Um, but that's all because of the characters. 100% the characters. No, no other reason why that would be the case, guys. I don't know why you're looking at me like that. Stop it. But. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please uh, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys want early access full length, check out that Patreon. Wow. I might end up rewatching this episode. You know, I'm, uh, research purposes. Yeah. Uh, wow. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. On that note, I'm going to be out of here. Peace out, you guys.